right, we continue to VFX for ArcVis and today we're gonna talk about water. I'm gonna do something very basic and simple. I'm gonna show you even how you can export it. As you can see here, I used my simulation uh, to do the front and the back water fountain and the waterfall. Uh, those guys are not connected together because the swim pool was made with displacement map. As you can see here, it didn't came out that great because I wanted to do the infinity pool and I didn't have time to simulate everything. Those simulations takes a lot of uh, also space. So I had to have at least 100 gigabytes in order to simulate the whole thing. However, uh, today I'm just gonna show you how you can do a small little simulation and then export it to any other software or give it to the freelancer that you're working with that doesn't have Phoenix FD. All right, so let's go right to it. And um, first thing I'm going to have to take my swim pool and isolate it uh, to completely empty scene so I will not lose uh, any time dealing with big scale projects. So always, if you want to do something, any tasks, take it, isolate it, have your scene ready, easy to go. Okay, so you can see I don't have anything here in this um, besides my swim pool. And we actually this time, I know it's not advisable, but I'm gonna do a test with inches. Okay, so, um, as you can see my unit setup here being set up to inches us standard okay but my resulting accuracy still have that same number okay so let's see if we can get a nice water again not advisable but we'll try to make it through because when i was learning and i was doing that i actually didn't know how to uh, work with phoenix fd but it came out nice actually, so why don't we just do it? Okay, now we're going to use something that's called tap water setup. So I'm going to select my water right here and I'm gonna click on the tap water. So the simulation rig created around my model. Now what we need to do here is to enlarge it in order to cover a little bit bigger area like that so basically I wanted to cover the entire cube and what's good about Phoenix FD that the minute we create it and knows how to interact with the objects okay so we have that simulation here and we also have a liquid control that came with the rig and uh, with this quick setup and here we have the ongoing velocity Let's see our scale size here. So we actually gonna do everything within the booth. This is the container walls. And let me show you that option, how the jam booth work. And then we're gonna switch it to open. So we'll let liquid go through. Uh, it's not gonna interact with the swim pool water, just gonna bounce off of it. And um, steps per frame, this is uh, controls the quality of our project. So let's do, let me just enlarge those a little bit. So we'll throw some water off of them. And now when this whole thing is set up, we can click on play and let the first simulation just run off of it and see how this whole thing works. I'm gonna stop my simulation here and uh, make a quick render just to see that we're going in the right direction. So let me introduce water material. So for water material, I'm gonna use basic V-Ray, let's call it water pool. So pure black and the reflection is pure white and the refraction also pure white and our IOR index of refraction is 0.33 this is how water should look like and while this simulation grid selected we're gonna apply this texture 
and let's click uh, render see how this works as you can see I'm rendering here at 2000 in order to see the details better okay so the water looks nice and we get some splashes here coming off okay I'm gonna stop this and let's decrease the steps to about one and decrease the resolution in order to run it a little bit faster and let's run this again so you can see how the water is working here the whole thing filled up and now it's going to start to spill out okay so I'm pretty satisfied with those with those kind of results so I'm not gonna s keep simulating that I'm gonna stop it and um, if we render this you can see that the water is very dense especially here on the sides it looks more like jam and not <laughs> really like water so let's give a little bit quality to it and let's increase the resolution 55 million cells that's quite a lot and let's do this thing open so it will continue to bounce off and it will not will get limited off the box as you can see here the box is limiting so it will keep spilling outside the box and let's get back our steps per frame to 12 and now let's run the simulation one more time it looks like it's taking really long because our uh, 55 I think too much let's stay around 7 million cells delete the old one and run it again alright I'm gonna stop it here alright so this stuff starts to look more like water but again uh, we don't have this nice little detail like I have here and that's because we're still in a low resolution this what we use here is something about 7 million polygons so let me just cancel that if we increase this to about 55 we're gonna get really nice results let's delete this and play it one more time all right i'm going to stop this because in order to let it run through i have to run the entire night but we can already see that the quality is getting there and um, let's just take a really quick render here and see how those guys reacting all right pretty good stuff we're getting amazing quality to our water and you can see it's really going with the shape and it's bouncing nicely off that grid let's see how it's on the other side very good I'm pretty pleased with you know with the quality and everything and how the water been thrown off that so in order to keep simulating that I probably need another uh, couple of hours I just let it run for uh, about 15 minutes close to an hour but we can see this is going really good and we getting these details pretty much uh, what I was showing you here in this water fountain 
all right so this stuff is looking good and now let me show you how you can export that while you're selecting that in the export you can choose mesh and then from here you can say export selected and we can choose a limbic file let's call it water pool and click save so now our water simulation been packed into mesh and uh, it's getting exported so now if I delete my simulation and let's delete also everything from our Phoenix FD and now we can import our water pool you can see it's 600 and let's import and if we go to the file we can see that our, our model is actually a solid mesh look at that beauty wow and it started to pour out beautiful okay so I have actually made another one let's delete this let me show you what I made earlier I did a full simulation of that oh that's that's our waterfall that I was working on let me see if I have let's see if I import this little fountain okay now now let's see what we have here oh yeah that's right so you can see beautiful spill I just kept going somewhere here I stopped it but you can see pretty good quality to the water and I'm gonna share it with you guys I think this is really awesome so I just apply some water material and let's get a nice shot of that as you can see here this is pure mesh and um, it's been broken down into frames and you can download it of course together with this tutorial but let's just check out the quality of that of that water that we get here and uh, always can work our frame buffer a little bit better so we get nice colors in it I just like to tweak my curve you know sometimes I get a little bit too dark or too light so by tweaking a curve you can get nice feeling of where you want to go with your renders okay so pretty good stuff look at that beautiful quality of the water I mean actually I don't know what other software you can use in order to get that I think Phoenix FD doing really good job in simulating and all of you guys architects interior designers if you work with water fountains uh, you can use that for tap water for atmosphere shots if you have a nice shower you know you can turn the water on it will always be more realistic and will help you and the realtors sell that project so this is what people want to see uh, the real lifestyle if your images don't look realistic um, the clients gonna pick up on that if it feels something's missing something's not right it will be really hard to keep working but if you provide good quality and frankly speaking my clients are pretty much satisfied with this with this little board trick that i was able to come up with fairly quickly results i had no experience working with phoenix fd and uh, clicked play increased the quality and then boom i had amazing water with uh, 
not really spending too much time tweaking all that. I just had to let it run over the night and I had really good quality. So this is how you do. You run the simulation, you see how it works. You can lower down the steps per frame. When you satisfy, just bump it up, get a really nice good cell size like I did 55 millions and look at this this is so crisp so realistic I hope you like this tutorial share it with your friends this is Alex your very guy talk soon